this is how I break beans. I like to sit in the recliner, kind of relax, let my mind flow. But I have a bowl of unbroken beans. I have a bowl for the broken ones, and I have a bag for the trash, all of the scraps that are going to the chickens. And as I sit here, I think about my mother, because when she was 90 years old, she was still breaking beans for me. The dog right is now, in. I am putting my jars into the hot canner. The water is hot that's in there because the water is hot that's in the green bean jar. Four jars will fit in this Nesco canner. And how you start it is lid down, turn to the right to lock it. And then you make sure that this is on exhaust. When that's on exhaust, then you go back. I do it on low, I do this on low. And then after you push low, you push time. Green bean quartz take 25 minutes, so. And push start. You'll notice that these start chasing around each other and they're gonna chase until that pressure is starting to build. It'll be at E10. And that's the next time that we do something to this Nesco canner. Now I didn't catch it on screen, but you can see that's at E10 and a beeper went off to let me know. Now we're gonna wait for it to get down to E zero. When it gets to E zero, we're going to change a setting. No setting really, but we're there. See, it went to A9. See that? I don't know if you can see it or not. See that steam coming out? Well, we're going to change that to airtight. When that gets to E zero. thing that I wanted to point out. This was my mother's that she used who knows how many years because she started canning as actually a young girl. She got married at 16, so she started canning at 16. And uh, she gave that to me, and I just love it. Can you hear that steam? It's building up. Building up its steam power. Now look, we're at E1. When it gets to E0, that's our next move. There was one thing that I think I forgot to say, and that is I always put a little glug of vinegar in that water, in that water that's inside the pressure cooker. That keeps the jars and the rings and lids from getting that uh, creamy, filmy, film on it. There we go. We are at E0. So if I can do this and hold this camera at the same time, we're going to take this, look this way, so the airtight stays, or it goes into airtight. There you see that? Now it's going to build up pressure. See that? We just had another beep and that means it's built up its pressure and it went to 25 minutes. It's gonna do a countdown now and then turn off. That's our next step. Now that beeper went off just now and it lets me know that this machine is off. It's finished with this cycle, but there is one last thing to do. And that is unplug it from the wall and let it sit for one hour. I always, myself, I always turn the timer on my stove.
because I lose track of time. So I'll know when it comes to be one hour. All right, we've been here for over an hour now. We're gonna open this up, turn it to unlock it, lift it. I always stand back a little bit because there might be heat. And I'm gonna use my mother's jar lifters. Put a rag underneath of it to keep it uh, Another one. And one more. Now you want to look and see how beautiful those look in there. Beautiful. So uh, I wanted to tell you that I got that Nesco for Christmas for my husband. I'm really thankful for that um, because I was, I was intimidated by the pressure canner that I have for the stove. One thing is I have a glass stove top. But you know that also water baths and you can also pressure cook in it so it's a good all-around um, machine that you can have to make some beautiful green beans or potatoes carrots corn it's really been used a lot this year mm -hmm.